Okay, let's open my applications folder and I will try to figure out which are my five favorite applications. And let's exclude kind of obvious uh, Xcode, which is my mine uh, money generator and Final Cut Pro, which I am using for most of the content. Now let's dig in my application folder and take a look what I have there. One password definitely would go in the top five but Apple built-in password manager becomes stronger and stronger. I could live without one password and I could use just iCloud for password management. Oh, this one is interesting. Deo Cleaner. So Deo Cleaner actually looks very simple. Basically on the startup he, he's asking to provide access to those files. You see, hit open and then application will list uh, all the, for example, simulator logs, what else not, device support, for example, I have probably some, yeah, some older iOS simulator archives, maybe, not in my case, derived data, you can delete all that stuff, and currently I already have selected 8.5 gigabytes with some unnecessary uh, files, which is generated by mostly by Xcode. And by hitting clean, you are just cleaning those from system. That application is free in the App Store. And if you are using Xcode for day-to-day -day work, I highly recommend you getting it. This definitely is going into the top. Okay, we'll figure out order later, but Dev Cleaner probably is one of them. Developer, hmm, it is Apple developer app and it is kind of useful and important during WWDC. You can still see all those videos online, but let's add it just in case we will don't have any other better candidates. What else? Discord? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Communications tools, those are kind of categories in themselves because I could add here Discord, Slack, Twitter as well. Uh, drafts? Definitely great application, definitely going in this list. Draft is a really nice application because basically that is just a uh, notepad. When you're opening drafts, you are opening new document and basically starting to write something. And after that, you can decide what you will do with that. And there are actions available. I'm not using those actions actively on MacBook. I have a few actions which I'm using on iPad. Basically, there are endless func functionality. For example, I have daily journal template, Twitter splitter, for example. You can create different actions, for example, split longer text to tweets, you can just tweet directly from app and so on. I'm not using those shortcuts on Mac, I'm using those more on iPad. Uh, GitHub desktop definitely is going into this list, but I will add Tower because that is better e-term mm, built-in terminal app is good enough for me it is necessary to have i doubt you i doubt you can really do development job without terminal app we just have to include it <laughs> uh, magnet app actually currently i'm using moon app which do the same that is for windows management it is not too critical anymore when i used ultra wide monitor then windows management was more important and this moon application basically you can set some preset uh, configurations you just say which application where should stay on which screen and when you just hit that uh, configuration then app will move applications around arrange window size and all that stuff what else oh microsoft teams i will be able to delete it finally my notes do not use often so not in my top but it is cool sometimes just to draft some maps uh, for example habit tracker i was i had idea to build habit tracker application and yeah here is some kind of uh, map i don't know for some brainstorming it kind of helps to kind of draft out some functionality database something like that i do not use uh, mind mapping often so i will not include that in the list but it is useful tool and sometimes notes and notion hmm. i am i am in life love hate relationships with notion for example i have different dashboards kind of project management view for for my youtube videos and content and something like that as i said i have love hate relationships with this application because it is kind of useful to 
to have it, but I don't like that it is online only. Quite often it is slow. Experience of writing is not great at all, so I don't know. I'm using it, but it is necessary to have some note taking application, but for most of us, just notes, in my opinion, will be good enough. And if I need to write something quickly, I'm opening, yeah, drafts application, and then I decide where this note will go to to Notion, to Notes, is maybe that is just tweet or something, or it is going to Obsidian. I'm not sure, maybe I will use Obsidian more in the future. Currently, I, I use it hmm, time to time. You can create Kanban boards here, you can create notes, you can link notes. It's useful application, like it, but it is not going to my top of the application. Okay, OmniFocus is one more task management application that could do to the, to the top. And I have to write here also things because I am OmniFocus user and I use it OmniFocus for, I don't know, many years. Uh, it is kind of easy because you can kind of, you can, you have a project list with all the projects, but you can make kind of, uh, focus how it, how they name it perspectives yeah they name it perspectives basically you can make different perspectives and kind of uh, focus on one project or selected list of projects at the time to do not be overwhelmed with all the list of uh, tasks for example i can say show me only let's say first available task and all the rest of the tasks will be hidden or I can select to show all tasks and I will see closed tasks as well basically or remaining tasks and so on and you can create predefinite perspectives to filter out projects and tasks which you would like to see at specific conditions for example if you at work if you are at work and you are working on your work tasks you don't like to see I don't know vacation planning tasks and all that stuff. Agree, that could be great uh, video, but uh, the problem is that I am kind of jumping now between things and OmniFocus. <laughs> I like those powerful features of OmniFocus, but things has better user interface in my opinion uh, now. By better, I mean not filtration, but, but those uh, kind of task writing, note writing for task, basically notes in things are just killing uh, OmniFocus. For example, I have here task local notifications for trainings, for example, right? And if I like to write note to this task, I have to go to this. First, I should keep this sidebar open. It. I have to open this sidebar, then I should go down, 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 and then here is note section, and I am, ah, my head is on the way. Let me let me change a little bit. I'm showing you things which you don't don't see. So let me move it here. So basically, here on the bottom is note section, and I can write notes here. And that's not very useful. And that is not easy when you browse to see them. For example, I'm opening this task and to see if I have a note here, I have to move my eyes down to take a look here. But in things, that is different. In things, for example, like here, I have task list. And I can open it and I see notes here and their notes are very powerful. They are supporting markdown. You can make uh, checklists, whatever in that note section. Uh, yes, I'm using perspectives in OmniFocus and for perspectives, for example, when I was working in product management uh, in my day job for company, uh, then I had, uh, for example, work perspective, of course. And then I just in work, in work perspective, I had only my and day job tasks. Currently everything is red because deadline was yesterday for all the tasks. Don't worry about that. If you will check, for example, today, that is predefinite uh, focus in OmniFocus applications that will show only today tasks. But if you will check to the work, that is task, that is perspective which is defined by me. I decided which projects should be included this perspective and also I decided how to order it. I, there is selection to order it by projects and show only available tasks. I have a few more custom perspectives, for example, I don't know, soon that is kind of just tasks which are should be done in uh, next 24 hours are or already postponed, 
low energy tasks don't have any but I, I can for example add tag for tasks which are low energy <laughs> like for today and and how tasks like here like that here and so on what else we have here forecast is built in perspective that is really can uh, nice because you see here kind of tasks and calendar events so that kind of helps for planning if you will create perspective that looks like so you just create perspective let's say test and you will select what how you would like to sort projects for example and group it group it or group it by tag group it by project usually i like to group by project sort again by tag by flag whatever by due date you can change grouping and then you just add uh, what, whatever projects you would like to see okay i do not see anymore where you're adding but basically you are adding uh, projects which should be included in that perspective that can be at least one youtube video about creating uh, only focus perspectives that is kind of a long topic but uh, unlikely i'm going to do that <laughs> because there are already full youtube with only focus how to videos okay we got a little bit distracted right so Omnifocus or things that actually it is kind of uh, necessary to have something like that for task management. Okay, what else I have? Postman. Mm, po Postman is kind of good application if you need to test some API calls or something like that. I do not use it often, but sometimes I do. It is not necessary for me application, but I can see how it can could be must have tool for someone tower yeah that is really great application i'm using it and loving it for mm, for github if you are using a solo developer probably it is not necessary to have it then even kind of built in uh, github client in the xcode will be good enough for you or just command line to push changes and so on and in this project i'm a single developer so there is not so much to see but if you are working in project with multiple developers you will see each developer commits here and that is really handy that you can just go to specific comments uh, see what was done without checking out that branch or do whatever and you do and you can do cherry pick that commit to move it somewhere over to your branch and all that stuff all the possible uh, git actions with nice and really handy user interface that is tower i believe that if you are working in the team with other developers then good github client or gitlab client is kind of necessary thing because yeah you can do what all of that in terminal but when you start to do kind of harder tasks in in git for example mer solving merge conflicts comparing different versions all that stuff then then i would prefer to have better tools so what we have here uh developer and dev cleaner will go lower in the list i would say developer is kind of nice to have application but you can see all those sessions in the web as well so it is not necessary and there is actually third party application developed by giorembo whatever that guy who developed mm, airbody application so i will move drafts below tower and below task management apps e-term it's hard to say about terminal application terminal application is just necessary to have for development work for at least to run homebrew and install cocoa pods and all of that stuff yeah currently swift package management tools are kind of rising and cocoa pods are not kind of necessary anymore but anyways even yesterday i used that terminal to delete to delete uh, facebook uh, library from one of the customer projects and so on so terminal app is necessary github management app it is necessary task management apps and uh, those are necessary as well without them of course you can you can keep notes somewhere but then you have to put something else instead of the task management application here in the list right or you can try to leave on github uh, tasks for example you can leave on something but anyways then you will need something else instead task management application and task management application is universal you can you can add development tasks here you can keep grocery list here you can 
keep list of uh, gift ideas for your wife and kids or whatever, everything. I would say that without task management application, I could not really live that is going to the top of the list. I really need it. And maybe that is the reason I'm using it daily, every day. And uh, maybe that is the reason why I kind of trying to jump from OmniFocus to things to find which one works better or is the best or something like that, right? Tower, I could live without it. Uh, build command line GitHub client is horrible for more challenging merges and something like that, but usable uh, built in in Xcode is okay -ish. Add web interface for code reviews, merge conflict reviews, so you can kind of live without Tower, but that is just very handy to have it. So task management app, necessary to have Tower, necessary to have E-term app, ah, we need terminal. Drafts is just very handy, no taking up dev cleaner, ah, I would even delete the develop, not necessary. Okay, that is our top five already here. Done.